Hello and a warm welcome to the brand new edition of To The Point. I'm Kruti Mishra. Today, we are in Bengaluru to hold a special conversation with chairperson of Indian Space Research Organization, Dr. K. Sivan. Sir, welcome to Ratsabha Television and thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you so much. So first, on the lighter note, you said that hearts at ISRO almost stopped beating when the team Chandrayaan-2 was injecting the spacecraft into the lunar orbit. How are things now? Uh, really, this uh, this barely because that uh, the maneuver, whatever we have done, is a very, very, very crucial maneuver. And uh, you know one thing that uh, if the maneuver was not uh, the proper, then the, then then the, we may not uh, have that uh, Chandrayaan to about the moon, and it will escape out of the moon. In order to ensure that that it is the the, the operations are going very very smoothly. Really, we got tensed, and also that is we have more anxiety to ensure that it, everything is happened uh, to happen correctly. That is a tense moment. Always it used to happen. Whenever there is a, a mission, a new mission is happening, it's not only for that particular lunar orbit mission. Every time it used to happen. Sir, we understand that the next major step would be on 2nd of September when the Vikram lander would be separated from the orbiter and also on September 7th when Chandrayaan-2 will land on moon. Tell us what are the challenges that ISRO has to overcome now? Now that is uh, basically that we have done whatever humanly possible by us. And uh, now that uh, everything is to be done in, auto in the autonomous way by that onboard uh, system is on. So we are uh, kept the system, everything is on right. And after separation from the orbiter, the lander will be on its own from the September 2nd onwards. And uh, subsequently, it will uh, do some deorbit maneuver. Then finally, the September 7th is the, the most crucial operation, that is the power descent is to happen. And it's going to land on the moon as we plan. But we understand, sir, that a total of 38 attempts of soft landing by various space agencies across the world for soft landing on moon has been made and only 52% success we've achieved. The implications of Chandrayaan-2 mission are large. What would the success of Chandrayaan-2 mission mean for India? Definitely this Chandrayaan-2 mission is going to be a, a major impact for India, mainly because that we are going to land at a place where nobody else has gone. So we are expecting a new science to happen. So when we are discovering that uh, new outcome of this particular mission, definitely India will be the, getting the name as the first country in the world to de reveal such discoveries. That way it's going to be really a, a big challenge or big uh, outcome for that India. As you said, the world would be eyeing the data collected from Chandrayaan 2 as we explore the unexplored. Why is the lunar south pole so important? So mainly because this particular south pole is in shadow regime than north pole. And because of this special characteristics, that it is believed that it's a lot of uh, the, 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 the new science may be hidden in, in that one. We are, it, it is, it's a place where nobody has explored. So new minerals and water, all these things are expected to be very large. That's what that, uh, we are thinking, it is the, the special area where not only India, the entire globe is uh, eyeing on that. That way it's having uh, the special attention on the, the, the near South Pole. A, the, the mission going there itself is having a the set of a value for that one. So talking about the Gaganyan mission, ISRO will set up a technical licensing unit in Moscow. What kind of collaboration and specialized facilities are you eyeing? See, already that we had uh, the, 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 the collaboration with uh, Russia for the astronaut training. And uh, this, the screening of the astronaut in, in India is going on. Once they are selected from India, they will be undergoing training in, the, uh, in, in, in Russia for about a 15 months time frame. 
and so that the not only that the training will not be the it is not completed totally in Russia, but some more training is required that we will do after this uh, the astronauts coming from the Moscow. This one. The similarly, that is uh, uh, many more uh, the, that, uh, that, uh, the collaborations in terms of that is uh, that the aerodynamic testing and also that the environment control and life support systems, the, the procurement, this type of discussion also is going on. So that Russia is going to be a ma major uh, partner for Gaganyan program in this aspect. So India is going to be the fourth country after US, Russia and China to launch manned space mission. What kind of infrastructure would we need for this kind of mission? See, really, this uh, one is that uh, this when you talk about Chandra uh, Gaganyan mission, there is two aspects. One is the engineering aspect, another is life science aspect. Engineering aspect that our we have that uh, full infrastructure within ISRO, which can be used effectively for their purpose. That is for uh, the creating the crew module or orbital module or that environment control life support system. All those technical aspects. We have that the entire infrastructure available in ISRO. What is not available is a life science part, the, the selection of that uh, astronauts. Because you know that in Gaganyan, man means the program, the payload is the man, not a satellite. So this uh, we have to select uh, the, the appropriate person suitable for this mission. And also we have to the, the create a, a, a model which is conducive for traveling into space. And also we have to successfully launch that uh, human into space and ensure that, that they are in that conducive environment as in the Earth. Then also bringing them back safely back to Earth. And also that after bringing them back to, to Earth also, that we have to rehabilitate them bring back to them the normal life. So if you are seeing that in the program, the entire program is centered around life science. And for that, the infrastructure, right now it is not there, and we are building the infrastructure one by one, slowly. And at present, wherever we don't have the infrastructure, we are uh, going abroad for uh, taking their help for doing that particular job. And, but very soon, we will be creating that infrastructure to sustain the program in our future conditions. And what kind of selection process would you put in place and how would you train them? The selection process is done by the, the, the Institute of Aerospace Medicine of IAF. That they are really doing the job. And uh, so they are the expert in that area, in the medical test, based on the, the screening they will be doing. And uh, the, after uh, the screening, then there is a lot of uh, that uh, test like uh, the, the physiological test, the psychological test, that all those things will be done. Once this, uh, the, the, they are screened, out, screened in, they will really undergo the, the physical test in, in, under various conditions, environments in, the, in Russia, this one. And uh, this, this test is going to be a very rigorous test. And uh, because we have to prepare the human which is suitable for uh, the, the space travel. Because the space travel is not only the physical health is not sufficient, the mental, the stability of the, the person also is important because he is going to live in a place where he nice, is isolated from the world. And he is going to live in a place where uh, in a confined space for a limited number of days. So to get prepared for them, that uh, psychological, scientific, physiological test also required. All this is will be done before they are really taking that mission. And ISRO is also launching missions to Sun, Mars and Venus now? Yes, you are right. That is, uh, after Chandrayaan 2 mission, we are going to have a launch to, the, the, uh, the, to study the Sun, that is Aditya L1. It is going to study the, the corona of the, the Sun. That is our one. And this mission is going to be uh, to, we are going to launch a, uh, the mission, a satellite, Aditya satellite, L1, to a point called L1, liberation point L1. And this particular point is a special point in the Earth, Moon, Earth, uh, Sun system. So that if you are placing a satellite at this point, it will be always facing the Sun. 
also it will be moving along with the, the sun earth line so that way this particular mission is planned this is mostly it will be launched in the next year first half this one and whereas that uh, the mission to venus it is uh, only in the study phase and we have uh, made announcement of opportunity for the payload to be is, uh, available that is a lot of uh, the, the opportunities are um, uh, the people are uh, trying to do that uh, their science on experiment and that also we will be finalizing the project very soon to get the launch at the earliest so we also aspire to have our own space station and india will not join the international space station how do you plan to execute this ambitious project now the, the, the space station project we will be de defining after completing that uh, gaganyaan mission we have the, the space station is required for the human to go and uh, stay there so after demonstrating after uh, getting that our uh, gaganyaan mission is over then we will be thinking about this particular mission and how's the sslv mission progressing sslv is uh, the, the progressing very well and uh, now the realization of that uh, motor system another system is undergoing and if everything is all right that by is uh, by this year end we will be having the first launch and if we are not able to do by this year end and we will be having the launch by next year beginning but we are targeting for having the launch by this year end uh, moving ahead sir istro is lauded for its cost effective space exploration globally it is said that the mission chandrayaan 2 was cheaper than hollywood movie avengers end game and also the mangalyaan mission was considered the most affordable mission to mars how do you ensure this kind of cost effectiveness now basically that is uh, we are doing that uh, that the planning work very that uh, very effectively before uh, the deciding that uh, the particular uh, mission that is uh, the planning is the one major thing also that is uh, we will be ensuring that uh, this this execution is without any error that is a uh, the particular uh, thing and also that is our uh, mostly that we are doing everything indigenously that is uh, rather than uh, procuring this one when you are doing that indigenous thing definitely our uh, cost is uh, very much less this one these are that technology we are using to ensure that the our missions are very cost effective and how important is the make in india initiative for india's space exploration program and uh, mainly that is all our programs are going to be that make in india only because we are depending on if you take the chandrayaan 2 mission the entire the mission is uh, that uh, indigenous make in india that is either launcher or spacecraft that is a orbiter lander rover everything is made in india with indian own technology and uh, this we have been following for all the the system especially for launch vehicle system and uh, if you are uh, seeing that the almost about uh, that uh, the launch vehicle almost 100% of the launch vehicle systems are indigenous with very few items like electronics we are uh, going to buy from other countries otherwise it is entirely indigenous similarly the satellite systems also that is nearly 60 70% of the program is indigenous this one isro's uh, commercial arm nsil has also called for expression of interest from private players for delivering five pslvs what kind of response do you anticipate so basically this uh, that uh, we want the pslv to be made by industry and uh, right now we have the very huge task on our hand that is uh, that, uh, producing the pslvs gslv gsl matri and uh, launching them at the same time that uh, the new projects are coming like gaganyaan and uh, like uh, what you are telling is like uh, the, the the interplanetary missions like that many such missions are uh, coming up so we have end up with two type task one is we have to uh, the production task another is research and development task so we thought that now the pslv is is matured enough to be the, the produced by industry so that we can make the industry to make the this particular uh, pslv 
so that we can concentrate more on research and development. That is the intention with which the PSLV we are uh, trying to give to industry. So as a first step, we are making uh, the that uh, we, are, we, are, we are requesting industries to make the five PSLVs by their consortium. And uh, the one, one more thing that I want to tell you, this, the PSLV, it is not made in ISRO. Only design only done by ISRO. The nearly 85 to 90% of the PSLV job is done by industry only. So we are asking these industries to, to make uh, the, as a, instead of adding as a vendor, let them work as a partner, so that the, the PSLV can be made, industry, this one, they, they are only making. They are only making, we are telling them to take the responsibility. Right now they are making as a vendors, but we are asking them to take the responsibility to, uh, to, to produce the system. So this way, that is, uh, I'm sure that it is uh, the, the good thing so that industry also will be get benefited, this one. But how do you view private sector's capability in this space, Ria? Definitely they are capable of uh, doing this one. And uh, when they are, the, 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 as I said earlier, does the industry only making the, the PSLV to us. We are only integrating. We are now asking them to the, the job of taking integration also. That's all, nothing else. So their capability is existing. Only thing is they, they wanted, they, they have to take that uh, the effort to ensure that they are they're delivering. I'm sure that they will be able to deliver. A new wave of space technology startups is engulfing India. How will ISRO incubate such startups? See, that is uh, what we did is, that is, uh, uh, we have uh, the plan to create some six the incubation centers across the country, where that uh, the ISRO, the, the, the units are not there. This is a special drive we have taken. And uh, the one center at uh, north, south, east, west, northeast, and middle India. This is the way we have in the six centers we are, uh, we are planning to do it. And only thing is the, 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 the incubation centers, whatever, wherever we are planning to the, the institute, this should be done in a, the institute where that, uh, the, that the good technology is there. Also, the yeah, industrial base is also there. And once they are making certain products, we will be giving the products for them to make it. Once they are uh, the making, ISRO itself will buy the product. That way we are uh, the, the encouraging the incubation centers to establish themselves and grow so that they can grow into as an industry's later part, this one. And what kind of investment do you foresee in the India Space Exploration Program? Investment that is, uh, that, uh, we, the, whatever money we are spending for the exploration program is very much less only. Our, uh, the main task is our vision of the ISRO is to make use of the space technology for the benefits of the common man. So most of that uh, investment is going in that direction for making that uh, the earth observation satellite or communication satellite or uh, the navigation satellite and uh, the, the, the rockets for launching those things. These are the things that we are spending. At the same time, we wanted to give, uh, provide the seed for the future also. For that, we are uh, bringing that uh, space exploration programs also. It's like a Chandrayaan-1 or Mars Orbiter mission, or uh, now we are talking about Chandrayaan-2, and future we are going to talk about uh, the, these, uh, our uh, Venus mission, Raditya mission. But they are only a, a small percentage of what our main that a task. Right, sir. ISRO has also collaborated uh, with NASA for realization of the Aperture Radar mission. How is it progressing and what does it mean for India? And, uh, the ISRO is uh, collaborating with NASA even that a, a new program is called uh, NISER, the satellite. Yes, sir. 
this one. It's a, the costliest and the most advanced that Earth observation satellite is right now. It is uh, working on that one. ISRO and uh, NASA is collaborating and they are uh, working. And the project is going very fine. And very soon that we will be able to come to the launch base, this one. And what would it mean for India, sir? India, it is having that uh, lot of Earth observations, mainly that uh, the, 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 the Earth, uh, mainly that uh, the Earth, uh, earthquake, Earth, uh, the, the, the remote sensing, all this is, is, it will be useful for India. Moving on, how do you plan to celebrate the anniversary of Vikram Sarabhai? And uh, we, we had a program for one full year, from starting from that uh, last August 12th to that uh, 2020, August 12th, that uh, up to one year program we had. And uh, we have planned for about 100 programs. It is be conducted at uh, various uh, that, uh, locations of the country, so that the program will be covering the entire country. We have commenced the program this uh, the celebration program from that uh, Ahmedabad, his birthplace. And uh, it is the, the program going to end in the Thirunandapuram in 2020, August 12th, where he's uh, that uh, last, uh, he's, uh, where he passed away, that place. That is our uh, plan. And it is going on very well, this one. Sir, so India's giant galactic leap. We already had a draft space activities bill in 2017. How important is this bill according to you? That means space? The space activities bill 2017. That is uh, space activity bill that is uh, we already had uh, the prepared the, the draft this one and we had the one round of discussion and uh, now it is getting clear and is a further process is going on and uh, I'm sure that very soon we'll be able to come to the conclusion this one. Lastly, sir, ISRO in next five years, according to you. Next five years is going to be that uh, very, very uh, the eventful years for us. And very interestingly, that is uh, uh, that uh, last 25 years, uh, we have seen that, uh, that uh, we could launch about 150 the mission. And next five years, we are going to make it 185 mission. It's a quantum jump, this one. Mainly this five years is going to be that mainly that all advanced satellite for the, that uh, earth observation, communications, this is the only area it is going to be there. Another area is going to be there is a Gaganyan program. It's a India's uh, that a new vertical to ISRO. That is going to be taken by major part of the next five years plan. And also that we are going to have that uh, the, the missions that that uh, new developments like a semi cryogenic engine and uh, the advanced that uh, the, the cryogenic engine and also a bigger launch vehicle so that to take the higher payloads to orbit that also is going to be there and uh, this way, and along with that we are going to have a, a set of space exploration missions like uh, Venus mission, Mars Orbiter mission 2, and uh, similarly a couple of the, the astronomy mission we are going to have. So our, uh, the missions for next five years are going to be very, very eventful, and uh, our hands are very much full. Absolutely, sir. All the very best for that quantum jump, and thank you so much for talking to Ratsapa Television. It was a pleasure speaking to you, sir. Thank you very much.